How do you go about recruiting board members, Quentin? We use um, two or three approaches. Um, <clears throat> the first thing we want to do is have physically enough people to be able to effectively um, populate our committees. You need enough people to, to run to run the board. So that's that. So you start with how many people do you need, and maintaining that level. So we have some people um, that term out um, because of our age limit. And when they term out and we are below our number to manage, um, the, the criteria that we use to bring on new board members are, are two or three. Number one is we always ask the CEO, are there any other skill sets that the board needs to help you and your management team that you don't already have? And if the answer has a list, we, we specifically go out and try to recruit that. If you go back 15 years or so, one of the things we were getting into uh, that we hadn't before is very um, consumer oriented marketing. We had nobody on the board that did that. So we went out and recruited the head of multicultural marketing from Disney, who happened to be a Hispanic businessman. So that's that's one way we decide. The other is uh, there's some compliance areas. If we always need a physician on the board, at least one to have that perspective. So we always make sure we have that skill set on the board. And then, and then lastly, what we call opportunistic ads, people that are just solid business folks, they, they can really add value, no particular need for them, but they're available and we grab them. So we have a very sharp board, um, much like a public company would be, not your, but stereotypically you might think of a not-for-profit board to be, um, very strong, very, um, uh, sharp in their domain and generally, and really do a good job of helping our CEO navigate some of these tougher strategic issues.